this is Richard Deep Singh. My student ID is 4010536. The course module is Diversity and Evolution. The course instructor is Matt Wood. The topic of the presentation is Taxonomy of Marsupial Cola. In the slide one, there is introduction. The cola is an iconic Australian animal, often called the cola bear. This tree climbing animal is a marsupial, a mammal with a pouch for the development of offspring. A cola can live for 12 to 15 years in captivity or in a suitable habitat. However, in the wild, the conditions can be much tougher and will often affect how long they live. The lifespan of a cola in the wild is like approximately 10 to 15 years with male living for about 10 years and the female colas up to 15 years. Other factor that can affect the lifespan of a cola includes presence of diseases. Uh, and now the habit and habitats, geographical distributions. Colas live over a range of open forest and woodland communities, but ultimately their habitat is defined by the presence of a select group of food trees. Colas are found in higher dense trees their food trees are growing on more fertile soils and along water courses. They do, however, remain in area where their habitat has been partially cleared and in urban areas. The distribution of colas covers much of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and a small area of South Australia. In Queensland, the greatest concentration of colas is in southeast Queensland, where they now complete compete for space with a rapidly growing human population. And now taxonomical classification. Colas are a type of mammals called marsupials, which give birth to underdeveloped young. They are so different from any other marsupial. However, that they have been classified into their own family called Fesco Large T Day. They share a number of characteristics with wombats, who are their closest living relatives, including a backward facing pouch. Now, morphological characteristics. Colas are well known for their large round head big furry ears and big black nose. Their fur is usually gray brown in color with white fur on the chest, inner arms, ears and bottom. They have no fur on their nose or the palms of their paws. Colas have particularly hard bottoms which enables them to wedge comfortably in tree forks for a long period of time. Colas have poor vision and rely heavily on their other senses. They have excellent hearing which helps them detect predators and other colas. They have an acute sense of smell which also help them detect other colas and their favorite food trees. Colas have strong arms powerful legs and sharp claws, suitable for climbing trees. Colas are mammals. However, they do climb down to the ground to move between trees. When colas are on the ground, they walk slowly as they are poorly adapted to walking on the ground. However, they distributed colas can break into a bounding gallop, moving at speeds 
of up to 30 km per hour. Difference between male and female koalas. Adult male koalas are noticeable larger than adult female koalas with a border face and distinctly larger black nose and can easily be distinguished by the large scent gland on their chest. Now, what is their diet and feeding, reproduction? Colas eat a variety of leaves and a few other related tree species including Melaleuca, Corymbia species such as brush box, paper bark and bloodwood tree. They consume around 500 grams of leaves each day and obtain most of their water requirement from the leaves which can contain up to 50% of water. The leaves are also very low in energy comprising only 5% sugar and starch on average. Now, and the reproduction is same as slide. Behavioral characteristics. Cola can sleep for up to 20 hours a day due to their low energy diet and the intense amount of energy required to break down toxic leaves. Colas are mostly active at night like nocturnal and around down the dusk. However, they can be seen moving during the day if they are distributed, get too hot or cold or need to find a new tree. Colas are solitary animal living within a network of overlapping home range which allow contact between individual for mating. Male will try to establish dominance over the home range of a number of females during the mating session. These home range in southern and central Queensland vary in size from 1 km to 135 km depending on the density of the population and the abundance of suitable food trees. In spring, adult males begin to call as a way of advertising their presence to surrounding koalas. Males will seek out a mate and fight with rival males to establish their dominance. And now their evolutionary history. Fossil remains of cola like animals have been found dating back to 25 to 40 million years ago. In 1978, John Prince was the first European who described koalas. European settlers started to hunt koalas for their fur. Millions of the koalas were shot. By 1924, koalas were extinct in South Australia. Severally depleted in South Wales and estimated for Victoria go as low as 500 animals. Slide. Nine conclusion is the same as slide and the references here is the references from the data is complied completed. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.